Nice. You got a fly on your head. I got. How about now? <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> Next bit. I can't really. I'm not very stylish. My my wife buys my clothes because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> and before that, my mum used to dress me. So it'd probably be looking at like tractors, tractors and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Each game's getting harder and tougher. So yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a battle, isn't it? Hello, I'm George North, and this is episode four of Wales in Camp. And Dan Lidget, this is your life. <laughs> right, due to the unique way this vodcast is um, funded, we've got some real <laughs> shocking notes for me to read here. So, right, the first part of the chat, Dan, if you like to talk with me, if not, never mind, is uh, the reaction to the second test. Um, obviously, the result, I'm making history. What are your thoughts? Yes. Yeah, Probably not sunken in a bit. Um, no, just unbelievable experience. Um, obviously playing South Africa in the in the home backyard and and the way the fashion that the first game panned out and fair play to the boys digging in and we would get the result. It was um, no, it's definitely one we'll, we'll sort of cherish. Um, yeah, I think the effort from the first test was huge. Obviously to lose out so close and then to come back in the second test and, and win as we did was was. It was a proper test match, really. That's what you expect when you come out here. Um, there's been a, a little clip flying around of, of the emotions at full time. And um, the lead bear, there's one of you flying around of the, um, I, I can only call it the excitement of getting the last cookie in the cookie jar. Um, do you want to talk us through, through that? Yeah, it's like when uh, my mum brings out second portions of food, you know. Uh, no, it's obviously um, just very emotional um, to, to get over that the sort of massive hurdle and you know in rugby there's a lot of highs and lows but there's there's probably a lot more lows and highs as, as we know with sort of injuries and stuff so when you you do get that sort of high you, it's, it's something special and you just want to sort of hold on to it but um no just just unbelievable there's yeah like you said i'm sure there's that clip is just it's just pure emotion um just just yeah just chuffed chuffed a bit yeah i think the fact that's why we play these games, isn't it? To be in these positions, to be able to to make history and to do a country proud. Um, obviously, there was a few key points in the game. I don't know why I paused there. Sorry. Um, obviously, Jadzi's try, and obviously, chicken with the last minute, uh, last kick to win the game. Um, would you have backed yourself in that situation to take that kick? No. <laughs> okay, we'll ask you again so we get the right answer. Would you have backed yourself out, kick? No, definitely not. I've got okay, two one more time. feet. Um, <laughs> no, nah, fair play. Obviously, um, you know, chicken rolling off the bench, um, and it was it was, you know, the guy's been through a lot the last couple of years, as as a few of us have. So, um, no, I'm sure at that moment in time when he's seen it sailing over all this sort of hard work, it was. Um, I'm sure he gave himself a massive pat on the back when he, yeah. when he we had a bit of a quiet time. I, I think it's um, for the injuries he's had and having to come back and back again and um, shows what a great competitor he is and the composure to obviously to put Jazzy's um, try away under the pressure and then to kick that winning goal. Um, yeah, well done him. Uh, yeah, and, and, and obviously Jadzi as well. He's been injured the last couple of months. Yeah. So, um, you know, he started on the bench and unfortunately Cathy had to go off. Um, and it was it was sort of seamless then when Jadzi got back on the field and we all know how class Jadzi is. We've seen it when he went on the Lions last year and um, like I said, he's just come back from injury as well. So he had played for a couple of months and uh, yeah, he d did what he does best. There's a, there's a career of commentary after this, I can feel for you. Yeah, but it's um, not for me and you. <laughs> <laughs> um, just obviously with Sam Wainwright in his first cap on the weekend, like, I'll be honest, I did say to him after the game, this is not how it all happens. You don't come to South Africa, wow. win, make history in your first test. Um, but just a word on him, and obviously Tommy as well in the, in the, um, in the first test, getting his first cap. Um, two unbelievable players coming through for, for Wales in the future. Yeah, it just, you kind of ask for better, isn't it? It's, you know, dream debut for Sammy, and credit to the guy. He came on, and he had, like, that scrum right at the end. He had, like, two big scrums, and that one where he just had to, like, lock it out, and he just did his job it's quite interesting um, when he got into camp started chatting to him and uh, he was like oh I've got a picture of me in you and I was like I, I've never met oh the yeah guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think I've, I've ever met the guy before and uh, just showing my sort of age now that 
um, I went up to North Wales to do a, a play appearance and um, I had a picture with him. It was 10 years ago when he was 24. So um, I met his um, mum and dad after the game and, uh, and we, we, had another, we had another picture. So um, yeah, it definitely made me feel quite old, but no, credit to him. And then you say young, uh, young Tommy as well in his first test uh, and he got man of the match in the second. So uh, for a guy that's so young and he's putting in them sort of performances, fair play. It's brilliant uh, as a North Wayne as well for Sammy to be flying the flag. Um, the boys are playing cards next door. I think I'm pretty sure you can pick that up. Sam Cam, yeah. Um, now it's brilliant for obviously Sam and Tommy to get a first cap. Um, we've got a lot of travelling fans out here. Uh, the Mad Taffs are on tour. How good has that been? Yeah, it was class. Um, you know, at the end of the game, we walked over to the other side of the field where they were all sort of congregated, and we, we just wanted to clap them as well to just show our appreciation of. You know, there's not a massive amount of, of, of travelling fans, but they're, they're making up with the, the noise that they're making. Um, no, it's unbelievable, and you know, and we're getting so much support from back home as well, which is which is really nice. That's nice. That was head. nice. I got. How about now? <laughs> what, still there. <laughs> My last point was obviously after the game. There's a few pictures of um, of um, South African players coming in for a beer. Nice to do. Yeah, it's class. It's. Um, it's more of a, a throwback to what rugby used to be like. You know, it's, it's more like obviously it's professional and clean cut now where straight after the game you do your, your ice baths and that and you're almost into recovery, recovery mode. But yeah, it was so nice. It happened in the first test as well where went into the changing rooms and you get to chat to your sort of opposite number and just real, real nice guys. Um, yeah, sort of long may it continue and um, hopefully we'll We'll catch up again after this uh, this third test, but um, no, it, it was great. 100%. Um, right, next bit. But it's been nice to be able to see a bit of the country as well. Obviously, we're in Johannesburg, Bloemfontein for a short period, and obviously Cape Town now until the end, so it's always good. When we got to Cape Town, we had a lovely welcome by the, the hotel. Um, were you dancing with them or singing with them, or you just... I was clicking my fingers, I'll be honest <laughs> with you. No, it's just, everyone's so nice here, to be honest with you, and... Like you say, we get off the bus and we're all sort of a bit beaten up and weary from the the, the, the game before. And um, oh, it's, it, was, it was amazing. Uh, um, what's SA been like to tour so far for you, Danny? Yeah, it's been it's been good. It's been tough. It has been tough. Um, obviously, when you go from just from a rugby point of view, from regional stepping up to international, we've had like some big weeks back at the Vale in camp. You know the conditioners and the coach have been been putting us through our uh, paces just to make sure that we're ready to come out here and obviously the altitude um but like i said everyone that we've come across have been so welcoming um no it's been it's been really good and after the disappointment of the first test to a massive high of the second test there's that like i mentioned before that roller coaster so um so it's, it's Seems a long time, but it's gone quick as well. So we're into our last week now, and uh, last well, last two or three days of, of training before the before the third test, the grand final, as Mr. Pivak has said. Um, I, for me, Safra is always a great place to tour. It's a, a huge battle on and off. Well, we're mainly on the field, obviously. The people here have been <laughs> the people here have been brilliant. Um, yeah, everywhere we've been, they've been very receptive and open. The staff have been amazing. So um, it's always a great place to tour, and obviously to finish on now. 1-1 one, one with one to play, very exciting. Um, I'd like to touch a bit more on recovery, Dan. Um, wh how, what's the, in your opinion, what's the best way to recover after a physical game like the second and, well, both tests really? Uh, it's tough, isn't it? It's down to the individual. Um, I think ice baths work for me. Um, try and get moving in the pool. Like I said, using the uh, the medical stuff is like the masseurs and stuff like that. So obviously we're all sort of beat up and that. They get the, the body going again, especially at my young age. Um, Sweet age. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, uh, a few of the boys use saunas as well. So um, And your recovery pools yeah. in your holding home. Yeah. Um, right, enough of your chat, Dan. I think I well did it. Hang on, try again. Quick questions, quick fire questions. Right. I know the answer to this one straight away. Do you hit snooze or get up straight away? Uh, get up straight away. Best player you played against? Whatever. 
Uh, it just says, doesn't say ever, but you can say ever if you want. Um, Richie McCaw. Richie McCaw. Best dress in the squad. Don't say me. Um, I say Sam Parry. Sam Parry, Spud. Yeah, he's, um, he's always got new threads on and threads. I can't really, I'm not very stylish. My, my wife buys my clothes because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> and before that, my mum used to dress me, so yeah. Late, yeah. <laughs> So it's Bud then. Um, would you rather kick the winning kick or score the winning try? Oh, it'd be nice to score a try. I'm not very, I'm not a prolific try scorer. And you, um, you are well known for your kicking as well. Nah. No. So yeah, okay. scoring a try, that'd be good. This would you rather be able to speak to animals or speak every language? Oh, oh that's a good one. I'd probably um, speak to animals because, you know, post rugby and, well, I'm, my second passion in life is, well, it's joint passion really is farming. So it'd be quite handy when, if I could talk to the animals. What would, you, what would, your, what would your first question be? Oh, I'd be just have general chit chat. <laughs> <laughs> like talking I think to I, you, I think, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd like to speak every language. Wouldn't that be cool? Just to dabble in. Anyway, <laughs> what's your most prized possession? Um, my, our friendship. My, yeah. <laughs> My most prized possession, probably um, my herd of pedigree Welsh black cattle. <laughs> Plug. Plug. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, and my chickens, I've got to get them in there. <laughs> 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 Excellent work, Danny. Um, what's top of your bucket list? In, in what respect? I don't know, it just says that here. Uh, what's, as in like your, um, I guess, things you'd like to achieve outside of rugby? Outside of rugby, poor oh, Jesus. Growing the herd of prime Welsh blacks? Just, yeah, hopefully sort of post-rugby career, hopefully just be uh, happy and content in life. That's a good wow. one, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. And health is wealth. Right, I don't ask this question. What was your last Google search? <laughs> uh, last Google search? Um, Should I say embarrassment? We just go... <laughs> Blip through that one. No, it's probably something to it's do. It's not with what you think, though, because I know it'll be something like. It'd probably be looking at like tractors, tractors and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, best memory for Wales. What's your best memory for in a Welsh jersey? It's probably the 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 game on the weekend. To be honest, that that feeling. Um, I, I haven't had that feeling for a long time. Probably last time I had that was winning the Grand Slam in 2012. So um, that feeling post-match. Um, Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Right. Bear with us. We're getting to the last bit now, I promise. It didn't go well again, did it? God damn it, cards. Um, all right, look ahead to the third test. Obviously, big decider. We've got a great chance to make further history with winning 2-1 out here. Um, what's your thoughts going into the third test on where we can really tighten it up and focus on the last big push? Um, I guess it's just... It's like the coach has said, we want almost the same effort, but 10, 15% more. Each game's getting harder and tougher. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be it's going to be a battle, isn't it? Um, so more of the same? Pretty much more of the same, but try and go that one more. I think it's a, it's a difficult one, isn't it? Because when you're playing the same team three weekends on the hoof, one, two, three, it's obviously you learn a lot about yourselves but learn a lot about them as well so it's um yeah, it's very I think tough it's question just, i think one. it's just a case that if we can all squeeze an extra percent out you know cr across the board then there's you know it's 15 percent. so yeah um how will training be this week do you think because obviously we're getting ready for the grand final game. yeah big, no big it's obviously uh, we've trained hard up to now and sort of you don't um fix what's not broken sort of thing but um yeah, obviously we need to make sure we put the work in to make sure that we're fully prepared for the weekend. So I think we'll, there'll be a few sessions where we'll have to roll up our sleeves, but at the same time, it's keeping enough juice in the tank. So when uh, when the, the the team gets out there on on Saturday, they're fully firing. Yeah, I think. That's a great um, answer. Or no? I know. I don't know what you're looking <laughs> though. You're like, I was thinking, what's he seen? Um, I think a big thing for what's worked well for us is that sort of intensity, shorts short sharp intense sessions but getting that exposure there which is um hopefully as we'll see today you know I uh, think, tuesday I, I think you know one of the biggest things is how well everyone's trained so there's obviously a, a few boys that haven't 
played uh, on tour yet. No. Um, but how well they're training behind the scenes, and that's not something that everyone had, or back home would see. Um, it's preparing the, the non-23, preparing the 23 for... Well, it's just pushing the standard all the time. Um, and there's boys that are, like, you know, on the cusp of, um, you know, getting selected or not getting selected, and it's, it's, it's certainly making a difference, but when they get been given a chance, so, you know, obviously Tom France had to go home injured. Sammy stepped up last week, got his first cap. And, uh, and did really well, so boys uh, are ready and, and waiting to go. Obviously, back at sea level now, does that change anything for you? Or, I guess, and it hurts, it just hurts? Uh, yeah, it always hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> but I'm hoping it'll make things easier, but well, maybe the game will be that much faster, so it won't be easier, so I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see, you know. We shall see good ending lines from Mr. Lydiot. Um Thank you for joining me for This Is Your Life, Dan. No, inside the camp vlog, vlog four. Um, hope you enjoyed. Uh, what do they say at the end of things? They go um, on uh, YouTube, stay like, tu stay tuned, tuned, like, subscribe. And hit the, hit the like button. No, something like that. Isn't yeah. it? You stay classy. <laughs> <laughs>